Thanks to the continued success of comics on the big and small screen, Hollywood continues to mine publishers for new properties. However, while the big two, Marvel and DC Comics, have dominated the box office as they do the comic book sales charts, smaller publishers have seen their titles tarnished by the transition. Kick-Ass at least benefited from achieving cult status, while Scott Pilgrim vs. The World wasn't so lucky. Huge buzz generated by the comics fans and amplified by studio PR left Hollywood holding the bag when mainstream audiences failed to show up. And even DC Comics' Watchmen, the most critically acclaimed comic book of all time, opened big but saw its grosses plummet week after week as it too failed to connect with mainstream audiences. But Hollywood still has high hopes for the smaller titles, especially when they feature a hot chick wielding some serious hardware as she takes down killers similar to Michael Myers, Jason Voorhees, and Freddy Krueger. Yes, Hackslash is coming to the big screen. It would have come sooner, but it's been weighed down by numerous writers and potential directors. But Relativity, which inherited the film deal for Hackslash from the now defunct Rogue Pictures, which it acquired from Universal, has just signed Marcus Nispel to direct. Nispel certainly knows his way around a knife, thanks to his previous experience with the Texas Chainsaw Massacre in front of the 13th remakes. Will Hackslash be Zombieland meets Resident Evil, or add to the smaller title's losing streak? And who do you think should play Cassie Hack, or Vlad? And what other smaller titles do you think Hollywood should go after next? I, for one, am excited that Ani Press's excellent The Sixth Gun has landed at the Sci-Fi Channel. Write your thoughts down below. I'm Grace Randolph, and I hope you'll go beyond the trailer for these other top movies.